Good day everyone, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, so let's see, what kind of quest do we have? Active or whatever. Uh, fun with the pestilence. Damsel has sent you on the trail of the plague bearer, the kindred responsible for the outbreak of the LA epidemic. She has suggested going to speak with the ghoul Paul at the Skyline Apartments or talking to some of the bums around the city. Uh, so I guess we can find Paul, but there is one place that I want to go first uh, before going to him. Now, if I don't get lost, like I always do in this place, I think it might be this way. So Paul is over there, but no, I'm going the wrong way, obviously. I need to go over there because... Uh, this quest, I think we can do it, how should I say it, for two people. Now we can, you know, if we complete it, turn it into damsel and, you know, she will give us a reward or whatever. And there's another person that we can talk to, which also wants us to deal with that kind of, so... We should do that. I think I'm going the wrong, the right way, but the wrong way. Well, that would be kind of true. Uh, oh, this is the house that we want to enter. Uh, so, if you remember from the first episode or whatever, uh, we have the Regent's Riddle. So, basically it leads us to this house. This is where... This is where the Regent resides and I guess he lives in this house basically. Which is honestly a maze or a labyrinth, call it whatever you lo uh, like want whatever because it's really freaking easy to get lost in here um i think i'm going the, wrong, uh, the right way yeah here he is regent strauss or there greetings neonate might i assume you received my invitation i have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time yeah i got it i'm assuming you are strauss maximilian I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. Thanks. What exactly is a chantry? A chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. Cool. And you're a regent? What is that? A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Well, I'm assuming if I was a Tremere, you probably would have told me something, given me a new power or whatever. Uh, can you tell me about the mysteries? I'm sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them any further. Okay, what can you tell me, Max? What's going on here in downtown? Why, why am I getting angry Let at him? Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. I appreciate the advice. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Yeah? Why? What's going on? It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Interesting. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. Yeah, if I remember correctly, we don't, we can't really tell him that we're looking into it for the Annex. Um, Camarilla, what's that all about? The Camarilla. It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more, and nothing less. I see. Can I ask you a few more questions about the camera? I don't know what I'm supposed to say, actually, so... 
What else would you like to know? Actually, there was something else I needed. Of course. Maybe I could look into the epidemic for you. Hmm. An interesting proposition. If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. I'll do it. We'll figure out what you owe me when I return. Very well. Later. Okay, let's check a quest log. You're looking into the cause of the epidemic for the Camarilla as well as the Anarchs. Yes, that's what we want to do. So we can start with the Damsel's quest then. Uh, the th Wait, what the hell? Okay, I'm out. I'm out. So, first let's go to the Skyline Apartments, I guess. And see if the ghoul tells us anything. Yeah, and then we can see what we will do after that. We should actually do more of the main quest. Um, yeah. Because I don't remember if we went to see the prince, which we probably didn't do, but still. I guess we'll do that after we do this quest, maybe. See, usually the main quests requ require you to be at a higher level, kind of. And because they're kind of hard, because mostly you have to sneak around and, you know. It's not that easy to do in this game, basically. So here we go, Skyline Apartments. Okay, do we have any info where he is? Uh, I don't even know which floor he li Oh my god, what the hell did I just... Uh, employees only. What does this lead us? Maybe we can find a computer with some information where he lives. Why the hell do you have a camera pointing to the toilet? And the save screen or whatever it's called and the PC was literally saying we're watching you, so... Anyway... Email. Let's try the hack. It should be easy, I think. Probably not. No. Okay, let's use blood buff. Email. Still can't do that. Uh, apartment notes. Apartment 1. Simon Milligan. He's on TV, so odds or footage of his place will be worth something eventually. I gotta, I gotta keep an eye on him. Oh my. Apartment 2. Sean Milton. He's a slob and he never really has chicks over. Some guy has been staying with him lately, so I haven't wanted to watch much. Well, we all know why. Apartment 3, Georgia Welch, this rich broad is pretty hot. Oh, the password on her door is 9648, so maybe I'll sneak in there and steal some panties to action off online. Oh my. The person who's doing this is a maniac. Apartment 4, vacant, no reason to keep an eye on this one. Apartment 5, Paul Anderson, I thought there was no reason to watch him. But then I caught him upstairs, I'll keep the tape rolling. So he's at... lives in the apartment number 5. Let's check. 6 and then we can go Hannah Glazier. The gold mine. Something hot is always going down in there and here. And that something is usually Hannah herself. Oh my god. Okay, so maybe there's some kind of password. Uh, because I kind of really want to check. His email, but 
I doubt I will be able to do that. Unless I can actually... Oh, we can go to the sewers. Raise maybe my hacking skill. Which one is... Um, computer. Sure, let's put in one point. I mean, it is useful. And I'm doing it not just because I want to hack into the email really bad. Peep. Really? That's your password? Hey Tom, it sounds like we have a deal. You keep sending in that security footage and I'll pay you for the good stuff. Wow. Wait, did I go in here? I don't really know what's in there. I can't really see. So I guess we can use the elevator basically because I don't see why not. We can use vents to traverse this building, I think, but don't really need that. Yeah, apartment 5, right? So we go to the fifth floor. So does each floor have only one apartment? I don't know. Don't know? Don't get it. Okay, we're taking an awfully long time to go up there. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's enemies in here. And it's really freaking dark. Maybe I can raise the exposure of the video, kind of. Because see, in this place it's bright, but when I go out here, I can barely see. Oh, I see a body. And I'm assuming this is Paul. So she probably gave him the epidemic or whatever, the disease, the illness. There's a door. Let's see. Wait, protein is- oh my god, now it's freaking bright in here. Well, at least I can see. <laughs> um, Let's go up. Okay, so she lives in the Skyline Apartments as well, so I think we found basically every, everything everything that we can find in this place, which is only one thing. Uh, so which floor does she live on? I forget. Um, does she live in this? You know what, let's check every single floor because I don't remember. Yeah. One, two, all three. Yeah, this is the one. I want to take the key. Safe key. Um, okay, let's go up. Oh. Paul, is that? Hey, you're not Paul. Who are you? What are you doing? In the audio in this game, I can't. Uh, Paul sent me over. I'm a doctor. You sound pretty sick, Hannah. What's wrong? <coughs> I don't really know. I, I've taken all kinds of medicine, but I can't seem to get rid of it. I feel like I got a fever and a sore throat. <coughs> I'm real weak. Can't seem to get out of bed. What day is it? I can't remember. Sounds pretty bad. Where did you get it? Well, I think I got sick from one of <coughs> clients. I was feeling fine until I, I, uh, I saw her a few days ago. 
Who was this client? She was just a woman who called. She uh, she found my ad in the newspaper. <coughs> Usually only do business with referrals, you know, but she was offered a lot of money. What can you tell me about this woman? <coughs> Her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <laughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. Where did you meet her, Hannah? Where is Jezebel Locke? She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <laughs> hey, are you sure that Paul's okay? He's not sick, is he? Yeah, should I tell her? Nah. Uh, I think she will die also, so let's not tell her maybe. Paul's just fine, Hannah. Don't worry about him. <laughs> Good. He, he's a nice guy. <laughs> I hope he calls me again sometime. I'm sure he will, Hannah. I hope so. I really do. Rest in peace, Hannah. I'll go and take care of Jezebel Lock. Okay, now we need to find your safe. I used the wrong power. Where does she keep her safe? Mm, over here. Money envelope with $200. Thank you very much and her body disappeared. Uh, sometimes I think that every single NPC in this game is a vampire because uh, they die and they literally turn into nothing so I don't know what's the, what that's all about let's see quest log Hannah has pointed you in the direction of one Jezebel lock as a possible link in the plague bearer chain she makes her residence at the Empire Arms Hotel Feels like I'm going 100 floors down, you know? That's how long it's taking me to go down there. To the first floor. Okay, so I think we did everything in here that we want to do right now. So we can go to the Empire Arms Hotel, right? That's where we need to go. Yes, and it's over here, literally across the street. I wonder if you can tell yes. me anything. May I help you? Is there a guest here named Jezebel Lock? This lock is one of our more, um, popular guests. Why do you ask? I need a key to her room. I can't do that. It's against hotel policy. I'm an old friend of hers. On a surprise visit. I see. Well, in that case, perhaps I can make an exception. Here is the key to her suite. Have a nice evening. Thanks. See ya. Uh, okay, now if I only knew... Which floor she lived on? <laughs> Wait a second. Wealth is the password, okay. Uh, now which one she's staying at? Albany. I can't write on a new keyboard. Albany's uh, available queens. And there's Jovenson. Nope. Manhattan. I have to write a lot, Ashley Jones. Uh, well, I guess this game is realistic in this aspect. I wonder if they will keep this thing, you know, 
using computers like this kind of in the second game? Probably not. Ah, uh, here we go. The Brickling Suite uh, fifth floor is occupied. Guess just block. Booked until next month. So fifth floor. Uh, that's where we want to go. I take it you're Jezebel Lock? Yes, I am Jezebel. And I have such things to show you, little morsel. Such beautiful, dirty little things. Won't you come into my parlor? Yeah, I'm coming in. And Dev's coming with me. Oh, you cannot escape me, little morsel. One way or another, you and I will intertwine our beings on the way into the night circle, and I will send you forth, full of the sweet sickness I carry. So I can end up dead like Hannah and her friends? Who better than prostitutes to carry the dark gift I bring? Oh, will they not share it with the rest of those who revel in the pleasures of the flesh? You're sick, pure and simple. Time to put you out of your misery. Protean blood buff, fortitude. Masquerade Redemption. Uh, should no need uh, a knife, which we already have. I need to drink some blood or whatever because kind of low on that. Okay. So anything I can take here beside her knife? ABC always be closing. What the hell is that? Uh, how did you my inventory? I forgot. Um, I should raise my research skill actually. Let's see. Um, let's do that. Why not? We're doing pretty good with our fighting, so might as well do that, right? Um, let's check our quest log. Uh, you have killed just block. Report back to damsel. Uh, let's go, I guess. I think once we train in the quest to her, maybe our uh, blood points and whatever will, you know, fill up. And I won't need to find, I won't have to find someone to drink blood from, basically. I have to go this way, right? Yes. I wonder if I go straight through here, maybe I'll go there faster. I'll come over here. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. I really wanted to drink her blood, you see. 
Now watch me have to do the same quest all over again because I should have actually waited for her to, you know, go to a more secure place, let's see. Yeah, it was my fault. I shouldn't have hurried, I guess. Uh, I'm a hungry vampire, what can I say? I wonder if she'll still be walking right now. Maybe I should actually save and see if I can drink her blood, but I don't know. I mean, nobody should not should have seen me actually when you think about it because nobody was really over there and... For instance, over here. It seems like a hidden place. Let's try it out. I'm interested. Oh, she's not here. Eh, oh well. Uh, nothing, can, nothing I can really do now, can I? The hell? What's up with those noises? I think I'll make the episodes a bit longer because I want to get through this game faster, I guess. Kind of. And yeah. I mean, it's not really a long game, but still. About Paul, he's dead for a few days. It wasn't pretty. We told him to burn the blood and go to the hospital. Said he thought he'd get over it. Let her study him that way. This proves the plague bearer's got him found. The plague bearer is dead. Right on. Except we just did a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these six sons of bitches. I'll start looking for the rest. Bye, damsel. I said bye. Can I not say bye to you? Does that offend you in a way? Because I'm part of the Camarilla, kind of? Jeez. Damsel has informed you that there is more than one plague bear in the city and they all need to be destroyed. She, has, she had previously suggested talking to some of the bums around the city. Sure, let's do that. Any one of you want to talk to me? What? Get away from me! You. Leave me alone! I need to ask you about the sickness that's been plaguing the homeless. <coughs> oh, you do? Well, I don't believe you. You're after my aluminum cans, aren't you? Well, you're not gonna get them. Just get away! What? You don't remember me? I'm your friend from the homeless shelter. Jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. That's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Where's this Tin Campbell? Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. Thanks, see ya. I will definitely not be seeing you. Uh, this Is this the alleyway? alleyway? Well, I mean, it is across the bar, so. Um, probably not. That's some kind of person standing. Oh, are you Tingamble? <laughs> you. Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is that you, Betty? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. It's not Betty, Bill. I heard that you can tell me why everyone is getting sick. Yeah, I might be able to. I'm awful thirsty tonight, miss. Could you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? Do I want to give them to you? No, because I know you'll get drunk and... I doubt that will help you with your life. Uh, sure, I'll give it to you right after we talk. <laughs> Thank you much! <laughs> I'm going to have to go pick up some hooch. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He he, Dave too. Now I know you ain't going to believe old Bill, because I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened, and people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more. It's all right. I believe you, Bill. He's a monster, you see. A monster with his face. 
was all twisted and ugly and gave longer to your finger. His eyes, piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before. Still giving me bad dreams. So, what happened? He grabbed me, threw me over his shoulder, took me to the bad place, the dark place. <laughs> Too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <laughs> Haven't been feeling too well since then. <laughs> Bill, I need to know where the monster took you. Thanks for the information. See ya. Don't worry, Bill. Someone's going to pay for this. <laughs> he literally just said. So we have to go into this sewer thingy, I think. Uh, so I will end this episode right here while I'm standing on this ugly uh, mattress. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, all that. Comment down below. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.